let's talk about app automation on lambda test lambda test supports running your native app test cases on both ios and android devices this that you see on the screen is the lambda test app automation dashboard where you get the details of each and every test cases that you run before we discuss about the dashboard let's get into how we reach here opening my code base i have a very basic script of where i am opening up an application and i am performing a few clicks before entering a few data and that's it in the same manner you might also have a script for your ios or android based application but you might be currently testing on your local device or you might be testing on a cloud grid which you can easily transition to lambda test any test case that you currently have can be transitioned to lambda test with just two steps the first step is you need a lambda test username and access key basically to authenticate yourself as a user on the lambda test platform you need the credentials and how you can get these credentials is from the automation dashboard just click on the key icon under which you'll get both the username access key as well as the hub url once you have the credentials then you need the set of capabilities Capabilities are basically nothing but the instructions that you provide the Lambda test grid as unto what particular device, platform you want to run your tests on. From where you can generate these capabilities is from an intuitive page we like to call as Capability Generator. So from the Capability Generator, you can choose the capabilities based on your language under which you already have your code setup running so in my case since i have java i'll select java i'll click on apm and it'll automatically give me the different device choices since lambda test only supports app automation on real devices you'll have to make sure that whenever you're running your app automation test cases you have the real device toggle on which will in turn return your capability which is called is real mobile true once you have that then based on your application if it's android or ios just make the selection and choose a device that you want to run the test on along with its version once you've selected the device then you need an app url which tells the lambda test grid as to you want to run all of the test scripts that are written below on this particular app but how do you get this app url to get this app url you can simply go onto the lambda test automation dashboard click on app upload click on browse file which will automatically open a native window on your desktop and select the apk or ipa you want to run the test on and as soon as you select this the app gets uploaded on one of the secure locations behind your username and access key and it will return you an app url which you can use in the capability section once as you can see the app is now uploaded and now you can copy this particular app url which you can use in the capability section and that is it you have all the capabilities you need to run since in my code base i've already set the capabilities i've already configured them i'll not be changing those and also if let's say you want logs that is the network logs the device logs the uh, screenshots for each and every steps that are running or the console logs you can control those by the capabilities as well once you have the username access key and the capabilities you simply need to create a remote web driver connection which includes your username your access key hub url in case of lambda test real devices the address of the hub url would be mobilehub.lambdatest.com along and along with the capabilities once you have all this and the script is down there the only thing you need to do is right click and run the test now as soon as i go to the app automation dashboard here on the app automation dashboard as you can see new builds have landed which means the test that i have ran has now landed here i'll quickly refresh the page and you can see demo android that i just ran has now landed here 
This particular screen shows all of the builds that you ran while executing your test case on Lambda test. I'll click on it and this will give you the detail of the test that is currently getting executed. Here on the left hand side, it gives you the details of the test device that it's got executed along with its version. On the right hand side, it gives you the execution video. I'll quickly refresh it once. Yeah. On the right hand side, it gives you the complete execution video of the test case that it just executed. And below it, it gives you the details of the app info, the capabilities that you selected, along with the screenshots that got captured. And here in the middle, it gives you each and every command that got executed. And if you select this visual checkbox, it will also show you the screenshots that got captured, which are saved here as well. Then it will also give you the network logs that you captured, the device logs, as well as the APM logs. As mentioned, the APM logs, device logs, network logs, as well as the visual logs, that is the screenshots, all of these can be controlled using capabilities. Also, this particular test, if you want to share it directly with someone in your team or outside, you also have an option where you can directly share this by simply entering in their email address and they can directly view the complete execution of a particular test. In a very similar way, since we executed the test for uh, Android, in a very similar way, you can also execute the test case for iOS as well. In my case, since I executed it with Java, here, if I go, no, I went on the wrong screen. Yeah, here, if I go, you'll get a complete sample of the test that I just executed. And along with that, you'll also get the APKs and IPS. So since the test that I executed was Android, you can also execute iOS test as well. I hope the session for app automation on Lambda test was helpful. If in case you have any questions related to any of the topics on Lambda test, feel free to reach out to Lambda test chat support or reach out to support at rate lambdatest.com.